न्यूमरल एट्रैक्टिव the end of this lesson you will be able to define numeral adjectives identify definite and indefinite numeral adjectives identify cardinal ordinal and fractional types of definite adjectives oh hi fleck i am so exhausted I had gone to the market. Gee! Wait for a while. I will show you what I have bought. Look! 6 eggs, 1 pack of bread, many oranges, and some chocolates. Do you know Fleck? Words like 6, 1, many, and some that are used to show quantity are called numeral adjectives uh huh yes i'll tell you more about it let us look at the following sentences i bought many oranges from the market there are some chocolates in the bag the words many and some are examples of quantitative adjectives as they tell us How much of a thing we are talking about? When a quantitative adjective tells us how many persons or things we are talking about, it is sometimes called a numeral adjective or simply a numeral. For example, six eggs, one pack of bread, many oranges. chocolate numeral adjectives are of two kinds numeral adjectives that mention an exact or definite number are called definite numerals for example three books the numerals which tell us how many persons or things we are talking about without mentioning a definite number are called indefinite numerals for example many men hmm let me give you some more examples of definite and indefinite numerals those three plates and two spoons are examples of definite numerals as they refer to definite numbers while many potatoes is an example of an indefinite numeral as it does not mention any definite number remember any ordinary quantitative adjective just mentions a quantity and answers the question how much an indefinite numeral answers the question how many without mentioning the exact number definite numerals are further divided into three more kinds when a numeral adjective is a definite number such as 1 2 3 etc then it is known as a cardinal consider these examples two girls are going to school i bought five pens from the market here two and five are examples of cardinal numerals as they refer to definite numbers of girls and pets when a numeral adjective describes the exact position or rank of a person or a thing in a group or series for example first house third in a series etc then it is known as an ordinal consider these examples vicky's first job was in a bank my father is having his second cup of tea here first and second 
are examples of ordinal numerals as they refer to the rank of the job and the cup of tea. When a numeral refers to a number less than one, for example half, one fourth, etc., then it is called a fraction. Consider these examples. Please give me half a glass of milk. Rita is having one fourth of the cake. Here, half and one fourth are examples of fractions as they refer to less than one glass of milk and cake respectively. So Flex, I guess now you know what our numeral object is. Hmm, let me give you the best example of numerals. Flex and Zizi are two best friends. Don't you agree? Hey hey! Let us revise all the points you've learned in this lesson. Numeral adjectives. When a quantitative adjective tells us how many persons or things we are talking about, it is sometimes called a numeral adjective or simply a numeral. Numeral adjectives are of two kinds. The numerals that mention an exact or definite number are called definite numerals. The numerals which tell us how many persons or things we are talking about without mentioning a definite number are called indefinite numerals. Definite numerals are of three kinds. Cardinal if the adjective is a definite number. Ordinal if the adjective describes the exact position of a person or thing in a series or group. Fraction if the adjective refers to a number less than one.